I just noticed that the main reason why most of us are not doing well on YouTube is because they don't actually understand how the YouTube studio works. If you understand everything about the YouTube studios, you will see how your channel will start getting views. You will see how your channel will take another shape and this is an effective method because you cannot be doing something if you don't understand the system on how the thing works. So I was thinking, why is it that most people are failing on YouTube? I said, okay, nobody is actually talking about the YouTube studio, which is the engine room of YouTube. Some people just post their video and leave it and say the video is not growing, it's not doing well. But have you actually taken your time to go to YouTube studio and start that video and know why it is not growing? And that is why I've decided to embark on this 14 days posting challenge. And this is the day one. And I've told you how we are going to be doing it. I will post one long form video today. Tomorrow, I will post short. In these 14 days, I'm going to be talking about everything that have to do with YouTube studio, all the whole features, all the whole tabs inside youtube studio i will break all of them down and tell you how you are going to use them to your advantage to make your channel to grow everything i will explain one after the other bit by bit so join this my 14 days youtube challenge and always come to my channel for a fresh video every blessed day starting from july 4th to july 17th now let us start this video that i'm making is both for old and new creators you know even if you're an old creator there is something that you will still learn from this youtube studio that i will show you today now for the new creators go to play store or app store and type youtube studio it is an app Get it from Play Store or App Store. This is what the apps look like. Now, let me click on the app. If you click it, it will open. You will see that all the videos that you have been posting on YouTube are there. These are the features in YouTube Studio. If you watch, you will see dashboard, content, analytics, community, and you will see latest published content. You will see this plus sign here. You can equally upload video from here. You will see the notification bar. You will see this other place where your channel logo is showing at the top right corner if you click here you can set up your youtube and everything from here you know so all this tab i will explain to you what all of them means and how you are going to be using them to your advantage to understand the performance of your video so speaking of performance of your video let me show you something using one of my video to show you the performance of that particular video i click on content you know so this video that have 7.2k views let me click on it i want to use this particular video to show you how to track your performance of each video and maybe how you can do some changes in that particular video even after you have posted it it is possible if you watch you see this video performance watch ranking by views you will see one of ten this thing means that out of ten videos that you have posted lately that this particular one is performing better than all of them from the day you posted this video down to the 10 videos you've posted previously this one is performing better than all of them that is what this thing means so if you check your videos you see 2 of 10 3 of 10 or 7 of 10 you will use this thing and understand the one that is performing best you understand me then you will see impression click through rate 8.2 it means that the thumbnail is good and people are equally watching now if you see average view duration you will see that they are watching for two minutes it doesn't mean that people are not watching to the end no it means that some people watch for five minutes, some six minutes, some to the end, some one minute, you know, they will go. So that is the average is two minutes, but it's poor. The average duration is poor. That is why the arrow is pointing down. So if you understand all these things, it will help you to understand how you will shape your next content, you know, for you to bypass all these things. If you check the top right corner, you will see a pencil icon, an arrow, and the YouTube logo. So that pencil icon you are seeing here means for you to make some changes in the videos that is when you will click this pencil icon then this arrow means to share the video if you want to share the video to your whatsapp or anywhere it wants you click here it will show you to copy link and share the video now this youtube icon here means that if you click it it will take you to youtube to go and watch this particular video it will take you from youtube studio to the main youtube app for you to go and watch this video but now i want to show you this pencil icon here when you click on this pencil icon look at what is going to show you it will now bring you back to this place this place now you will see it maybe when you are uploading your videos now from here i can decide to change my title from here i can decide to write another thing and change my title so most of you think that after posting your video you cannot change the title you still have the right to change your title even after posting the video if the title is not that cash is not doing well you know to your expectation you can use this place and change it now if you watch to the left corner you will see another pencil icon that particular pencil icon is for you to change this thumbnail i can click on this place now and click on change 
I'm going to change this thumbnail and put another thumbnail. I can change the visibility here. I can put it on private if I don't want this video to, to be on public again. This place is not meant for keys. Then this is video location. This is playlist. You know, all of us know what is playlist. For those of you that don't know the meaning of playlist, playlist is like creating a collection or a folder for your related videos. I don't know if you're getting me. So like in this channel now, if I have plenty of videos where I talk about subscribers, 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 I might create a playlist and name it subscribers. Take all the whole videos where I talk about subscribers and put there. So that if somebody come and watch that playlist, all the whole videos YouTube will be suggesting for you are videos that are from that particular playlist so it helped to boost watch hour also so now after this my 14 days posting challenge i'm going to create a playlist and add the whole 14 videos there so that if you want to understand everything inside the youtube studio the mobile app you will just go to that playlist and start watching the whole videos from beginning to end here is altered content what this altered content means that youtube is asking you is your video an ai generated video those things in the video happens to be something that you generated is not real that is what this altered content is so if your videos everything is ai generated you know most of the things they are not real you just said yes you know it's not going to harm your channel it will not reduce your views and it will not stop you from earning if you are monetized you know you can click this small option for you to add tags to your videos change your category all these things now are the things you can do in youtube studio even after posting your video now i want to show you another important feature now if you go to that more option if you check down you will see where they wrote delete from youtube this thing means that if after posting your video maybe you watch the video you discover there is an error in that particular video and you don't want it you don't want people to see it whether it is private public or unlisted you can come to this place and quickly delete that video from youtube then go back and re-amend the video and post it again. So that is how to delete videos. So everything you are looking for is inside YouTube Studio. And one after the other, I will be breaking down all of them. So what I showed you today is how to use YouTube Studio to optimize or re-optimize your videos and track your video performance. That is what I just showed you right now in YouTube Studio. There are many, many things you think you know here that you don't even know. I'm going to expose everything so that you will understand how YouTube actually work through the YouTube studio. Look at this place, they wrote comments. If you click on this comment, you can come here and off your comment. If you watch, you see it's on. If you don't want people to comment on your video, you can come here and off your comment. So everything is here. Do you also know that even from YouTube studio, you can equally reply comments? Now, let me show you. Now, look at this comment this person wrote a day ago. He said, sir, what is the complete name for this equipment you are using to shoot the equipment he's referring to is this stabilizer that i'm holding so i will just write it is called phone stabilizer have you seen it i've replied to this comment so youtube studio is quite amazing you just need to understand everything and how it works so that you'll be producing good quality content and equally track the performance of your video so what i just showed you today is how to track the performance or you optimize your videos using the youtube studio just for one particular content that is what i just showed you now so as we proceed on the posting challenge i will still review other things do well to stick around and visit this channel every day to learn new things so if that interests you do well to subscribe to my channel and equally share this video to others so they will learn thank you very much and i'm going to see you on my next video bye